Oh, yeah, I missed it. I missed this intro song and the podcast in general. You make love to this music, don't you? I do, I do. Self-love. Oh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> Self-love. I'm like, uh, Shelly, I need to be left alone. No, 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 no. She hears the music pop on. And the music pops on. She just like, gets up and walks oh, out. Oh, yeah. Small bottle of that 700 milliliter Jack Daniels. <laughs> Self-love. <laughs> that, that, literally, that's how we open I'm the sure, podcast. <laughs> I'm sure that's like a, a book title in elementary school these days. Oh, oh, self-love? I'm sure. Yes. How I'm tra- surprised how they haven't... They haven't had some sort of class on masturbation, you know. In the sure best someone way to has do somewhere. It. Well, the book is Tranny Self Love. Training Self Love no, or Tranny? Tranny. Tranny. Oh. Tranny Self Love. That's the book that elementary kids are reading. Welcome Tranny. back. It's June eighth. <laughs> <laughs> Students like us, and we've already we've already blown the lid off of it. Yeah. yeah. Well, Paul's probably drunk already. Oh, I mean, whatever. I mean, you, you've slowed down a lot to the point where. You know, well, this is dudes like us. I'm Sean. I'm Paul, and I'm Jeff. And uh, we've taken a two week, three week hiatus. I think two. Yeah, it feels like it feels like a long time ago. Yeah, I'm glad we're back. All right. So yeah, you know, I was actually looking forward to uh, not drinking for a while. You know, uh, I was thinking, well, you know, we can do the podcast. I was like, I'll tell you what, I'll I'll do it for Paul. Paul's like. Um, and you, what what a douche! This is how he introduces this is how he introduces the program to Wait me. Wait a right? second! No, 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 no! You take a second. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Whips us into shape. By the way, we went to go see Top Gun. We're going to talk right. about that in a little bit here. But we went to go see the movie together. We had three couples: Jeff, Paul, and I were there. <clears throat> Brought the wives and some. Uh, and uh, we were. And I went out there. And of course, I'm running late. And um, Could we you went out. Read the text. Uh, whatever. Seriously. So, <laughs> Total eye roll on that one. <laughs> what the hell? I, what I, time is it? That's bullshit. What's uh, happening? I, well, it's totally my fault. I, I admit it. You know, I just and uh, amazingly, you both showed up on time. I couldn't believe it. I thought yeah. there was going to be a major. Oh, I thought there was going to be a major <laughs> fight like between the two of them, and neither one would show up and stuff. No, I would have showed up. <laughs> I, did, I could just see you like swerving in between the cars trying to so, get there. So uh, right. we, we show up, and and you know, I think we were. I think it was like right at five, five oh three maybe perhaps. Right. And uh, we show up, and uh, you know Jeff's there. He's getting our tickets. He's like, "You guys are a bunch of fuck ups." I'm gonna go sit down with my <laughs> wife. And then Terry and I go over to the bar, which is cool to say. Actually, going to a theater, yeah, and uh, right. I'm going to the bar, and that's a regular Cinemark. Yeah. That's not like a a special. Yeah, that, right. I think you know I think I mean? a lot of them are having them these days. Yeah, smart. You know, the only bump deal about that is uh, you know if you want a refresher. You, you got to go outside the theater and yeah, you do it again. Push a button and have like, somebody bring it to you. Yeah. Right. So I was just like, well, I was going to get a beer. And I was thinking, I no, because I'll drink it and I'll enjoy it and I want another one. So I was just like, you know, I'll Lack get something. Lack of self-control. No, I, mean, I just can anticipate things like this. You, really? This is coming from you? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So I, I get a I get a Jack and Coke uh icy. Slurpee. Like an icy, right? Icy, man. It was it was extremely tasty, man. It was Jack and Coke. Was there any Jack in it? I didn't know uh, that. I don't Did know. you taste it? What when you were like you're like, oh, hey, look at my drink in the in the in the <laughs> theater, I couldn't hear what you were saying. I had um, no idea that it was yeah, a Jack but, and but Coke. But what you what you said was like, Oh, I'm not drinking in the month of June. And I was like, what did he just say? And it took a long while for my brain to, to understand that. what he said. <laughs> and right. like 10 minutes later, I was like, "Did the movie had started. I was like, did that motherfucker just say he's not drinking in the month of June? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll be happy to say that lasted 48 hours. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just pulled the muscle. Oh, that's the shortest <laughs> month yeah, of the year. It didn't go so well. What the hell? Man, well, I mean, I, I will say this though, I've cut back a lot. Okay, so, but that's why, good. That's why good. didn't baby it work? Steps, baby steps. Why didn't it work? Uh, well, let's see. We had some friends come over on Saturday, and Shelly told me to go to the alcohol store so that we could have you know, we can make these type of drinks, we can make those type of drinks. And I'm like, okay, I'm screwed. And she does recognize that you had pledged not to drink in the month of June, yeah. Well, does she not care or is she enabling you? Well, I, uh, yeah, you're right. This is all her fault. She was right. No, no, she it's your right fault. <laughs> it's your fault. But you she's your you wife. Should, she's supposed to support you. Yeah, you should have said no. And that's what I tell her. She goes, "Why did you drink so much? Because of you. <laughs> you make me drink. You enable me. Every no. time I say I'm not going to drink, you you sit there and you shake your glass at me. Make me another. Yeah, yeah. make me another. I'm getting drunk. Why aren't you? 
Well, yep, you know, here's that's the not thing. Really true. Uh, you know, I, I admit that I have, uh, you know, I, I drink a lot as sometimes, yes. and we all do. You know, you, you, we fall in I these think little Jeff, pockets. Jeff, you do better than the three of us. I mean, the, the, you do the best of the three of us. Well, I think I just have the ability to stop before I. Cross but that but you're talking like process. during the night. Jeff, Jeff would drink like seven days a week. Well, I'll drink a beer after work. Yeah, really? I drink or an old monk. All I right. drink. Uh, and I retract what I said. I he's, drink he's one or two biggest, days a week, and that's got it. the biggest problem. I don't drink at all during the, the week. Hey, we got a secret uh, special guest, Mister. Yeah. Uh, he's about to leave. Where are you going? Where are you going? You going to where? College Station. Did you just say College Station? You're going tonight. You're going to oh, go visit right. Kyle Rittenhouse. You know, uh, it's crazy. He's uh, not there. What are you talking about? You're Kyle right. He's at Texas A and M. No, he's not. Yeah, yeah, he is. Kyle Wittenhouse. Well, why don't you? Because he originally up and was going to. He was flowers. originally going to a different school. Arizona. Yeah, he was going to Arizona. I did not know that he transferred to A and M. Yeah, good for him. He put on a baseball cap of a Texas A and M. Says, "Yeah, here's where I'm going." He doesn't need to go to school. He's going to win so much freaking money. Oh, he's going to. Oh, he's going to want to go to school though. Well, I know. Oh, yeah, he should. He yeah. wants to go to school, but he's he's also getting into his his lawyers are getting ready to launch the suits against the oh, media. Yeah. Just like the uh, you know the the Covington kid. You know, yeah. I got a. Hey, good seeing you. Have, have a safe trip tomorrow. I got to tell you, I'm, I'm a little, uh, one of my favorite comedians, uh, Bill Burr. Mm-hmm. You know, I think he's hilarious. I, I really enjoy listening to I, him. I don't exactly know. I, I see his name all the time. Bill Burr But is, I don't know what he looks like. He's like a, a, a he's a white guy, he's redhead, and he, he sounds like, when he talks. He's from Philadelphia he's, or something like that. He's he sounds like he's, an accent. He's, he sounds like he's odd, from Boston. It sounds like he's yelling all the time. Yeah, so I've never seen him before. Yeah. yeah, he's got some funny stuff. Out oh, he's there. he's extremely funny, but he has a special on Netflix right now, and he was talking about Kyle Rittenhouse, and he he was just like saying, "Now look, because he was talking about um, he was talking about guns, and you know, and, and people are, they're trying to be funny, they're just trying to poke at stuff, but he flat out calls Kyle Rittenhouse now this idiot calling Kyle Rittenhouse an idiot because he went down." And because he, he had personal protection on him while he was trying to put out fires and be a good Samaritan. Yeah. And he was like, really? I, I think idiot might be a strong word, but in hindsight, no. it was not a good decision. He did it. Uh, okay. Why? Because of what happened? Because you're asking for 12. If you, you, if you go to a, 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 I mean, a single citizen going to a mob where they're rioting and burning and looting and shit, and you're going to carry an AR-15 and you're going to think that you're going to stand there in front of a business and, and, and not somehow get yourself into trouble, <clears throat> okay, but bad you, decision. But that's not what happened. Yeah, it pretty much is. It's not what happened. Mm-hmm. There were some dude that was trying to, he uh, had caught a dumpster on fire. And right. Kyle Rittenhouse went out there with a fire extinguisher and put it out. And the guy that had the dumpster and was rolling it down the street got mad and caught it back on fire. And Kyle put it out again. And those guys started chasing him because mm-hmm. he put out the fire. And then all of a sudden, you've got this tribal mentality this of these guys right. hunting down Kyle. Yeah, I know they were like, saying, right. get him, kill so him, kill it him. Didn't, it didn't have anything to do with him having a weapon. In fact, the fact that he had a weapon is irrelevant. It's not like he was... Yeah, was I'm not told- sure I knew any of the details about the dumpster. Well, yeah, th- th- thinking back, I think that is correct. That he yeah, was, no, yeah, I, was, he, I was, he didn't have... He wasn't showboating it or like, hey, look at me, I'm standing guard. Yeah, nothing to do with that. Well, he in wa- fact, he, but hold on, he was doing that in front of the dealership. In fact, he had rubber he gloves on. That. He had rubber gloves on, and he was providing medical help, right, to people everywhere right. throughout the entire night. So it's you know I disagree with you a thousand percent. No. But my point, but no, I, I don't but, want to rehash this about Kyle right, right, right. The thing about it is that I can't if if these actors, actresses. They want to continue to force us to draw a line in the sand. Right. And I'm telling you, I did it with Bill Burr. He st- he started talking his, his, his... I mean, and I enjoyed him. That's what sucks. Well, I, it well, bothers well, me. Oh, I, well, got you. I, I got think, you. though... Shut the fuck up. Well, right. I think, though, right. as, as, as a... Again, you know, it's the... We laugh at all of the jokes where they're like, I just watched the Ricky Gervais special. Funny. Okay. Funny. Yeah. And it, he's going against he, he goes against every everyone. He dogs everyone. The trans, the religious people. Uh, he talks on AIDS for a while. 
um, the whole nine yards, right? And you know, he he his point is you need to not get offended by everything, right? And Sean got offended because because they he he specifically pointed out a person, you know, a a, a child, a, an eighteen year old, right? You know, for what he Who felt was, was trying doing. to do the right thing. Right. He was trying to do the right thing, and he's calling him a freaking idiot, right. just kind of like uh, how Biden <clears throat> called him a white supremacist. You know, right? It, it was just come on, I, I white don't... supremacist. I get it, but I think at the same time we, we we can't get as offended as these woke people are. Right. You know, if we start, you know, because we call them out. Why do you get so upset about this? Yeah, it's the truth he, or whatever. He wasn't the butt of a joke. He called him an idiot. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. he was out there trying to do some humanitarian thing. And, and I get it. I get it. And and I'm thick skinned when it comes to things like that. I, I can I can you know laugh at myself. I laugh at myself all the time. I'm an idiot. Right. No, I, I get it as well. I think it's a little <laughs> bit different. You know, some of these comedians, um, you know, like the Dave Chappelle, he does talk, he, he throws out names and stuff like that, but it's usually on the good side of the joke, right? Um, and, and, you know, if, if he's going to, it sounds more like Burr was making commentary more than a joke. Right, and, and is there I a line? I think there's a difference there. Is there a line there? Because look at Kathleen, what's her name, that held up the, the headless Trump. Kathy, Kathy G- Griff- Griffin? Griffin? Yeah. yeah. Kathy Griffin? Yeah. yeah. I mean, she was holding up Griffith. Griffith, yeah. yeah. Gifford Griffin. Griffin, I mean, yeah. wasn't that... That's a, that's that's over the over the line, right? Oh man, that is that's wretched. Yeah, I mean, I mean that's not that's not comedy. That's well, she she has every right to do that, but then you saw what happened yeah. to her. Yeah, that's what the had, side effect is. Oh yeah, right. I mean, because that's not com- I mean, who's gonna who's gonna look at her holding a headless president, the woke, and think that's funny? No, it's it's, it's not. Wasn't the president? It wasn't the fact. It was who it was. Right, but Trump. my point is that's not funny. No, it's not. Not it's, at all. She's 100% making a political comment. Correct. Political statement. Correct. I agree that's, with that. So it's not comedy. Yeah, it's not. So I guess that's where we draw the line. If it's not comedy, yeah, it's it kinda not sound, funny. Yeah, it kind of sounds like what Bill Burr was doing. Was, it right. was, it was He was telling jokes, telling jokes, and then he went into a... a, a, a monologue. A monologue yeah. about this person. Then maybe he told a joke about it, but he wanted to get his... And Got I listened two cents to in it. about how he felt about it, I, and I listened to him, and I, and I, I was kind of, you know, I laughed at. I, I think Bill Burr is tremendously funny. It, yeah. It's just well, he's a lib. He's always if you see the interview with him, he he kind of spouts off some of that shit. Yeah, and I've listened to him on on the Joe Rogan show, and he's got his opinion about the COVID. You yeah. know, and and he talks about that too. And I was, and he he was talking about, you know, in uh, I guess this was uh, maybe done a year ago before. We started really recognizing that this was bullshit, right? You know, and he was he was talking about ivermectin, and it was like, and the way his voice is, it is like, and then you got these uh, pseudo doctors that are coming up with, I hey, just take a little bleach, and he's got this voice the way he talks, you know, right. and, and and freaking, I think he's hilarious. It's just that, dude, you know, you can't. It, it's it's just like our podcast, you know, when we say something. And we completely don't know what we're talking about, which is most of the time. Most of the time, <laughs> you know, that's okay because we're, we we don't have people that work for us, right. you know. But when you're a professional up there and you're you're spouting off shit like that, that's not true, right? Come well, on, man. Right. I I think I think I think what you're feeling though is because there's a there's a set of people out there that the trans community who really believe, and when these comedians make jokes about. Women having dicks and men giving birth and that and make jokes about it, they are completely offended by that because in their belief, that, he's making fun of me and he's not telling the truth. Right. Oh right? yeah, no. I mean you're right. It's kind of like what Sean's it's, feeling against the the COVID. Yeah. This is what this is what Bill Burr believes, but it's completely. We know it's not factually true. I, I know what you're saying, right. and I, I get your point. But that is not a that's really exactly good why, well, That's exactly why we can find zero common ground right now. Oh, right. Everybody, so all, has, everybody all, has their own truth, and everybody's entrenched but, in, in believing it and right. hating the other but, side. Uh, but I think what we need to do is we need to, at least, at least this is what I'm trying, because, you know, as a comedian, they should be able to talk and, and make fun of pretty much everything. Should, should be, yeah. And if they say something I don't agree with, maybe I'll sit there and I'll groan and whatever. like. But I'm not going to be like, because... In the next thing, they may be making fun or making a joke about something I think is hilarious and well, deserved it. Right? So, right. It, when, and there was somebody on the opposite end of that spectrum correct. that felt just like you did correct. the previous joke. Right. So maybe maybe it boils down to 
you know, if if or specifically for comedians, right. is you know maybe they ought to have uh, like on Netflix they've got thumbs up, thumbs down. Well, I thumbed down that show. Right. Oh, there uh, you go. And yeah, it, they brought that back. And I you think know it went what? Away for a while, didn't it? I mean, there have been, I'm sure, many, many times we've but, said, co- said controversial things, right? But it pains me, though, because I, I like him. I think he's funny as shit. But that and show, maybe it didn't work for you. Not every, that, well, not every, was, not every stand-up it, is going to work. No, it's not. In, in, now, if he has a pattern, I, I would say if he's got a pattern of, of like, where it just oozes out of him, like uh, like uh, Bette Midler, right? Right. Oh, I mean, geez. right. If it's, it's somebody that's so obnoxiously hateful. Then I would, in my opinion, cut them loose, right? Like, well, it's because all... because what's the point? What's the point of listening to Bill Burr if every single time he's he's oozing hate? Yeah. Or, 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 well, and, most and of you're shows are all, not, and you're you all know? getting all angry, right? So, oh. <laughs> well, I think it's also a, a, a service for him because he may go, man, I nailed that, right? I made fun of this person, I made it fail to run Rittenhouse, made fun of the COVID freaks, right, or the whatever he's making fun of. But then he's going to see his reviews of that and go, wow, I missed the mark. Right. Yeah. Well, right. He maybe I don't. Offended, maybe I don't touch on those. He, right. He basically offended uh, right winged thinkers. Yeah, maybe I mean, he doesn't care. A- a- anybody who believes that they have the right to defend uh, law and order and defend yeah. themselves, so, he offended. Right. But that's that's yeah. the whole point. I mean, you know, you should have the right. You should. You know, and you know, I, I was uh, I had dinner this past week. Uh, they had what they call the two, t- Texas Music Revolution this week in downtown McKinney, Texas. And it was cool. Yeah. Um, it was twice as big as it was last year. It was, oh, nice. it was huge. It was huge showing. Um, I had dinner with a couple people, and one of the persons that was there uh, was a Democrat. And you know, we we were start talking about uh, guns, mm-hmm. and you know, the the subject came up, and I was like, because he said something about assault rifles. I know. And I, I was just like, well, first of all, there's no such thing as an assault rifle, you know. And then I was like, there's only automatic and semi-automatic. Right. That's it. There's and no one, one, no one has automatic weapons. Yeah, it's, well, military, that's not it's true. It is exceptionally rare. Yeah, you can well, have a people license. people hijack and do make their own. They but, do, but you see what I'm saying? Like correct. in terms you of mass shootings, <sighs> right. mass shootings or, or gun control laws that you need to make, correct. take automatic off the table. Correct. Yeah. Well, I mean, in, in whatever. But that's, whatever. The, but that's the ignorance of the, of the argument. They don't even seem to understand it's a weapon it, of that's, war. That's the point. No, so, it isn't. You know, because when I was sitting there talking to this person, and, and they were, like, questioning me, what do you mean? The, that, but like that's what an AR-15 be, is. Yeah, that's how, exactly what it says. How could you not be stupid? Like You know, and right? I was like, well, first of all, Google what AR is right. because it doesn't mean assault. Nope. I was like, there's no such thing as an assault What's the company's name? Yeah, you know, it is. Initials. It's called Armament. And, yeah. and it was it like back in 1950 something. I mean, we're not talking recent. Well, basically, the AR-15 is just a, a dolled up 223. Right. I mean, it looks mean and nasty. It does. But it's just a standard little rifle. Yeah, it's a cute little sporting that gun. They, that they you know that they that they have to kill a lot of people with. You know. But, yeah. but here's here's because it looks cool. So I here's what's interesting, why. right? So let's get into this gun control thing a little bit because now they're now even the right is starting to sign on to Ugh. some form of gun control. But so let's talk about this. All right, so that seems to be the weapon of choice for for these I want to say underage, but these 18, 16 to eighteen year old kids. Right. I think because the way it looks uh, the way is it a looks, big part of it. The way it looks, uh, the video games they play, correct. Uh, the movies they watch, right? So, I mean, so that seems to be the weapon of choice. So, okay, so you want to raise the, the uh, and I'm not, I'm actually finding myself not opposed to this. You want to raise the age to buy an AR to 21? 21. Uh, you know what? Okay. Now, if you do that, and a 16-year-old, 17-year-old, 18-year-old wants to shoot up a school or a supermarket, are they going to go, damn, I'm going to have to wait till I'm 21? Or are they going to go get a Glock? Or are they going to go get something else? Correct. And do the same thing? Because it's one pull, one trigger. One it's not the bullet. weapon. It's no. not the weapon. That's the problem. Now, they may choose. Because they're psycho and they're going to do this, they, they may choose that weapon because, you know, hey, I'm going to go out with a bang. I'm probably going to get killed or I'm going to kill myself. I'm getting an AR to do it. But you're right. It, the, the, what's wrong with a 17 clip? A 17 clip Glock, right? With multiple mags, he could have killed just as many people. Yeah, with that with that weapon. Well, they're trying to and that's what I keep telling people. Too. I was like, the Glock I have in you know in my house. All right, but they they make um, in, in addition to that the Glock, they can take uh, your Glock and they they make this attachment 
right. that you insert the Glock into. It's a bump stock. And no, no, I'm talking about the bump stock. I'm talking about something you you put it in there and it it flips it. It, it. it basically converts a Glock into a rifle. Correct. I've seen that. Okay. And they're fantastic. My brother has one. Okay, great. And we took it shooting, and it's incredibly accurate. So that is the difference. Is that with a pistol, they're more apt to miss because look, if you're 50 feet away. You have a good chance of missing somebody. Yeah, but when but you're, if you've got a rifle, yeah, but you, when you're wandering around a supermarket and people are cowering on the floor, I mean, you're not going to miss, right? I mean, so you know what I'm saying? I, I'm just well, my point is, sure, get rid of the ARs entirely. Never going to happen. Yeah, but what does that bump the age? What is that going to do? Okay, it, it's not. It's, it's, they'll just move on to a different. They'll gun. move on to a different weapon. I and mean, you know what? Like, look what happened in, in the New England. Or in, in England, you know, they're they're you're not allowed to have weapons. They they're stabbing people. Yeah, they went to knives. Yeah, they're butchering. They got butcher knives. Yeah, and, walking uh, around butcher look knives. Up, look up school shootings, uh, uh, school school stabbings in China. Oh, is it high? Oh my God, it happens all the time. Apparently, <laughs> I, I, I mean, I'm I'm exaggerating, but I mean, they have no weapons, right? right. No guns at all. But uh, look, look now, but here's the difference. And my wife pointed out a good point. 37 children injured in a knife attack in elementary school in China, right? Injured, not killed. Okay, that's valid, right? It's not 37 dead because they're all being shot by bullets. They're being stabbed with a knife. But my point is, psychos are psychos, and psychos are going to do what they do. Well, in 2010, do they... that guy killed eight children. Yeah, there um, we go. Well, eight that one children. had ADD. He didn't finish. Right. right. You, see, you see my point? I mean... So the, they're going to do this regardless. They're going to use the weapon that they can get their hands on regardless. Yeah, it doesn't matter what it it's is. A, I think it's a mental illness. It's challenge. 100% a mental illness. I think, it's so, a, I think it's a moral decline of America as part of it, right? The family is not the center anymore. But, okay, so what about, what about raising the age to 21 for all weapons with the exception of parental approval for something for hunting? I don't I don't. You know what? No, I don't think. Does it's that do work. anything? No. Does it make a difference? Here's the thing. You move out, okay? What if I'm 18 and I move out of my house? Okay? You can't buy one then without parental assent. Okay, without parent. So, but, but what if my parents are dead? You can't buy booze until you're 21. Yeah. But they well, can buy a gun unless you're in the military. So I mean, here. So here, here's the thing. I, I don't think they should wait till they're. I think 18 is good enough. I think if I mean, you're old it, enough to join the military and kill people, that's what, that's then, what you're, people say. then you're old yeah. enough to do to do whatever. That's what However, people say. This, this, the, the last incident that happened in Ovalde, um, that kid had issues going on, and they knew it. They knew it. So, here, Same with the kid at what, Parkland, and uh, Florida. He, and what everything propose, he bought, everything bought was legal. But what I would propose is that any time a kid has a sealed file, it right. doesn't matter what it is. Because it's sealed, then you're not allowed to know, you're not allowed minor, to know what it is. As a minor. However, right? yeah, as a minor. However... What I think they should have on their record is that the fact that they have a sealed file. I think they should see it. If you do and, a background check for yeah. a gun, they oh, should be able to see it. Sorry, you're, you're, right, can't, so. it's, you have a sealed file, and, <clears throat> it, and it's okay. You can get a weapon, but it, it needs to go through this what it means, and, and it has to be approved by a separate department. You know. And, and so what would be the rules like? So a, a, a kid that's on antidepressants? A kid that's on... <clears throat> Uh, that that had a, a you know threatened something. I mean, what are those rules, right? Because you know how many kids are on antidepressants. You know how many adults are well, on those antidepressants. Those are the red flag rules, right? That you're kind of talking about. Well, well you know, so, maybe I mean, maybe you shouldn't have it if you're on mm-hmm. if you're uh, if if you are an, on antidepressants. Maybe if you are applying for a gun, maybe you're not allowed to get one. So maybe. they would have denied me all my weapons. Maybe if you're on antidepressants, maybe you're not the right uh, person for it. That's bullshit. I'm not saying it's bullshit or I not. Take, I take something because during COVID, I had a, a spike in anxiety, a huge spike in anxiety and depression. And so, yeah, I'm taking Lexapro. So now you're telling me that, sorry, that's a red flag for you, Paul. You can't, uh, yeah, all you, we're taking yeah, all your weapons. That's hard, man. That's total bullshit. And it's subjective. Well, maybe, they ought, to, maybe they ought to limit you with maybe some darts, like Nerf darts. <laughs> you still get a gun, but well, you got to cool. fire these. Well, that'd be cool. I'd be, I'd be happy with that. But you get Nerf guns. Instead. Maybe a blow dart. <laughs> You're not allowed to have Nerf guns in the city of Frisco. Really? Yeah, I think they'd ban those too. Get out! I'm almost here. not kidding. I think I think you're I'm right. Not kidding. 
Anyway, Austin, we man, have, you have lots of contraband. <laughs> we have like uh, <laughs> we have so many Nerf guns. In fact, we made. Remember that night we went out to the the park and had a Nerf gun war. We we did. Remember, I bought like a thousand glow in the dark Nerfs, and Austin had like twenty of his friends, and they were playing ten on ten. Do you remember that? And oh, the yeah. police came over, and they're like, "What are you doing? Well, we're having a Nerf war." Oh, 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 okay. Can we join? I'll use my gun. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a laser. But I win. Yeah. Now, well, there you have it. Uh, so anyway, you know, that, well, well, hold on. I, I was going to say something, some, something positive though. Uh, Bill Maher, right? Bill Maher, yeah. Bill Maher, uh, liberal, but he 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 asked very challenging questions for both sides. Right. He's Even, starting to, yeah. Yeah. Well, I think he's a classical liberal. Right. He's so, not what these crazies are today. But he's asking like intelligent, objective questions. Like, okay, so you take away the AR, is he gonna go get another weapon? Right. You know what I mean? He was like, It's not the gun. It's not the gun that's the problem. And I'm like, Oh my God, am I am I reading this? Right. Do we have a a, a very influential liberal that is saying gun control is not gonna solve this problem? Well, we had Matthew McConaughey. Well, the White House yesterday. Did well, you did you hear him? No, but I he heard said it. some good things. Well, help, help me here. So I, I got the cliff notes of it, and I think I got it from a lens of they weren't happy what he said. Like the conservatives weren't happy what he said. Well, what I saw was uh, what was the gist of it? He he said basically it's the deterioration of the family unit. The we need to get back to the America. Uh, being a uh, what do you say the American morals or American <clears throat> way or something oh, 100%. like that. One hundred percent. The decline of the Western civilization. Yeah, basically, in real it's time. the decline of the family, decline of the American way. We need to get back to that. Yeah. We need to, you know, it's one of the stupid things he said. We need to do background checks. Well, we already have that, right? Yeah. But uh, a couple of the things he said were, I think, correct. Okay. It's the so he so he had a a, a no nonsense honest sort of objective right I approach didn't see to all, trying to solve this right I didn't see all of it but I saw some okay. some highlights of well, it that's I was promising like, I was like all right now he comes across as Matthew McConaughey right right well I didn't know that that was his hometown that's yeah, a he, tiny little town yeah so the the thing uh, that he brought up Bill Maher is uh, he was he was like the contradiction between you know drinking at 18 and buying a gun at 18 right you know i mean why are we why why can't we drink at 18 then well we used to be able to used to be true and we were and apparently 18 year olds were not responsible enough and they were was it a drunk driving thing i don't know like what was the reason why they changed it from 18 to 21 i I was in ohio at the time and they did the same thing right as i was like six months or a year actually no it was like six months before i turned 18 they changed it I have to assume that it was uh, a high a high occurrence of drunk driving among 18, 18, 19 year olds. Well, I mean, we already know that their front well, frontal the, the lobe is not fully developed. Well, the minimum age to right? drink was changed from eighteen to twenty one in nineteen eighty four with the National Minimum Drinking Age Act. It was thought that the eighteen year olds were not mature enough to make educated decisions while drinking, and they were educated enough to to know what to do with the firearm outside of hunting. Perhaps not under the influence. They're not under the influence. Yeah, I get it. So, so yeah, okay. I ag- I agree with the twenty-one year old. I do too. I agree with that. With with exceptions, right? There's tons of young hunters, correct? Who have fathers that are hunters. With that exception, uh, I'm good with it. Yeah, and you also have uh, you've got soldiers. Like I believe soldiers are a lot of drink. Like if you're overseas and you're in Germany and you know you're a soldier, you can go to the store and buy beer. I'd be okay with that too. I don't know. I don't know what the rules are. Yeah, I don't know either. I probably need to fact check that, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Well, they know. certainly know how to handle a weapon and can fight and kill and die for our country. So, well, speaking of the the military, these 18 year olds in the military, the, the Top Gun movie we just saw. Yeah, those guys on the flight deck and all those guys are 18, 19, 20 years old. Damn, doing that shit. And they can demonstrate that kind of responsibility, but we don't think they can handle a gun. Right. Now, the fighter pilots are a little bit older, but, like, my dad was on the Enterprise, and he was up on the deck doing, he wasn't doing all that directing shit. But Hand was, motion shit. He That's, was up there. He was By the way, the that was so badass. Yeah. The opening of that scene when, I mean, and it was just like the old Top Gun, right? Right. When they were on the quick carrier doing their hand signals and stuff, but, right. man, just so badass. Right. Great movie. Very, my, my, if I were to complain about anything about that movie, 
it was just a little too similar to the original. You know, I, that's probably the only in, the in only critical thing I could say. But it was amazing. The so movie why, why was jam packed with fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah. It it didn't have a whole lot of substance. <laughs> well, not who out, was the enemy? Not outside, not outside of the original story. Right? Who, who was the enemy? I they never said. I thought it was, and I think they did good on that. It's probably China, of course. They didn't say. They just what, said they're. Well, they said MIGs. Well, their well, building right. was it in some Eastern Bloc? Was it Ukraine? No, I assumed it was China. I think they did a good job keeping that kind of. Well, there you know, were no real markings on the planes or the helmets. No, they or anywhere. They purposely kept all that shit off. Right. You know, but I they think didn't they did really state this is Russia. This is well, but you they had the, the radio transmission when they when they shot them down, they were like, We too low, we too low. Oh wow. Oh. I don't think they said that. They didn't? I thought I heard that. No, they said, Holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck, we too low. <laughs> Ouch, Ouch, ding, bang. bang. <laughs> Ouch, ding, bang. That's <laughs> fucked up, man. But, uh, no, right. they didn't have any of that. So I don't, I don't recall <laughs> what they did, but they did have that Russian-style helicopter that oh, came, that came That's in That's what there. I think. It's supposed to be either Russia or Eastern Bloc no. type of old, maybe it was Georgia or it's Chechnya. A, it's 100% Georgia. Or well, Kazakhstan. Whatever. You know, I, I, uh, I, in fact. Well, you know what? That's a good point. Because it, we already know China has a bunch of nukes. Correct, and and that they mission that mission was to stop somebody from getting nukes. Okay, so it's not China then. I, I think. So it's North Korea. I I think uh, it's Australia. They were. <laughs> they could have probably. I'm it's trying not Sri to Lanka. talk too much about the movie without giving it away, but I, I think if they could have had a little bit more like this Black Hawk Down. about six months, so I think it, spoilers are fine. No. It, like if it were a little bit like Black Hawk Down a little bit, if the, it could have been drawn out a little bit more. I mean, it was it was an action-packed movie. Okay, as far as, as far as the, the energy and the adrenaline. Yeah, there were some scenes that kind of sped things along. Yeah, especially but, later in the movie, I but, know exactly but what you're there, talking about. Yeah, but there's some parts where they they, they could have really added some substance to it. Yeah, but you then know? it would have been a four but, hour movie. Well, no, whatever, whatever. It could have been a little bit more cerebral, you know. And it was perfect it's for Top Gun. It's not supposed to be cerebral. It's well, supposed to it, be it could have a been. fun 1980s movie. Yeah, it was it was an amusement park ride, yeah. and I enjoyed the shit out of it. Oh yeah. You know, it's so, so funny. I was discussing it with uh, with my boys. And they're like, suddenly had interest in seeing the first one, right? And they don't couldn't care less about movies from the '80s, right? right. But it seems that generation is all like, "Oh man, we got to watch the first one." And then they they watched it and they liked it, right? So I'm hoping, well, for one one point, I'm hoping they go back and watch some of the other great movies from the right. '80s, right? But because right. we've always that's always been a struggle. Holy for my, shit, man! For I just boys. pulled a strong drink. It's I was, good, man. This Jack Daniels that we got, this um, it's new, isn't it? It, why did you just cut me off? I was in the middle of telling the story. Uh, because I sloshed bourbon all over myself. God. I oh, know. Anyway, go ahead. We'll no get respect. to the bourbon in a second. What? Now well, I don't remember. You're talking well, about well, your kids. Done. Oh, so we were talking about the actors in the movie. And who's the guy that didn't get to... Well, I, I don't want to spoil that, but... He, the, the, Val Kilmer? In the new one. Correct. He's Val Kilmer in the new one. No, no, yes, Val Kilmer in the new one. Yeah, Ice. Anyway, yeah, so he and I were both talking. He's the he's admiral. Like, yeah. yeah. Uh, you're talking about the Admiral? No, 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 the kid. The kid was Goose's oh, son. Goose's son, no, Rooster. No, the, the one that doesn't go on the mission. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, I don't oh, think we should be talking about that. Hangman. Hangman. Maybe it's Hangman. Anyway, it was just funny because he was like, he was like, man, that guy's, that guy's good looking. And I was like, he was a good looking guy. Like, you know what I'm talking about? The actor in that movie? Yeah. He no, just, I mean, he was just, just I'm not he, gay. he's just badass. I mean, we're not gay. Neither he's very cocky. Gay. Super cocky. Super cocky, and he's exactly Some people the character call that confidence. of Val Kilner. Ice, right. In the first movie, right. Anyway, awesome. He was awesome. Anyway, we do need to talk about the bourbon. All right, let's talk about the bourbon. It is, <laughs> well, you let me do the honors. All right. It's uh, one of well, my Well, you're favorite. a big Jack Daniels it's one of my, Yeah, I'm a Jack Daniels guy, and I didn't even realize they make a 100-proof Jack Daniels. Yeah. That's new. It's, uh, so, yeah, it's brand new. All right, so yeah. scroll hey, up Producer. for me here. It's Bonded Tennessee Whiskey. Release date, May of 2022. Well, there we go. That's how new it is. That's how new it is. It's Bonded, right? It's triple mash blended, straight whiskey. It represents the two permanent expressions in the brand's new Bonded series. All right, so let's see. Uh, but oh. what's what's really unique about this, For there's two things. It's a hundred proof, right? Yeah, and they've served it in a seven hundred 
milliliter bottle. So what does that mean? Guys, it's in a smaller bottle. Well, and you had Correct. said that that's where they're going. That's what I've read because uh, Europe is 700 milliliters. So what's, going, what's happening now is distilleries are having to make a 750 for the U.S. and a 700 for overseas, right? And they're like, why don't we just stick with the 700 and charge the same price? Ooh, Correct. bingo. So in order to sell over there. What a crap. So in order to sell overseas, they have to, they have to be at 700 milliliters. All right, I'm not good with math, but what percentage loss of the bottle are we dealing with there? That's 50 milliliters. Right, out of 700. <laughs> so what is that? Well, it's 50 divided by 700. Oh, I'm going to do that right now. 50 divided. I'll give you a percentage. Divided by 700. We're losing 7% of our bottle for the same price. That's a lot. But is it the same price? This isn't, this isn't released at 750, so we don't know what it would be in a 750. What you need to do is, as these other That's ones... Start, as start, to, a, start to transfer. So right. if you see your regular Jack Daniels that you could buy, I don't know, 25 bucks. If the 700 comes out and it's still 25 bucks, that you know that they're screwed. so there's no regulation, there's no 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 crap like that. Is this is just <sighs> on their whim? They're they're kind well, of it's a European regulation. In order to sell in Europe, it has to be 700 milliliters. Why? So if they so I don't I don't know. It's European law. Stupid. And you know some distilleries don't sell over there because they're like, well, I don't want to make two bottles. It'll be too cost. I, I totally get that. I totally get that. So now they're like, well, we want to sell over there. So let's start making 700. And then they should reduce the price by 7%. You would think. No, it's 50 divided by 750. No. Isn't that what you did? No. no. Oh, I did 700. I think I told you so. Yeah, it's 50 divided by 750. 50. So, right, actually, so it's going to be probably... okay. With... Oh, there we go. The mark of the beast. 666666. Oh. So anyway, um, so that's, that's why. And then, they, then I just saw that they have a one liter as well. Well, whatever. I mean, the so I wonder. It so tastes I wonder, great. So I wonder if we're going to see seven hundreds, one liters. Will they go up to a two liter bottle now? We're already seeing weird, weird size bottles, at, like at Liquor King. I mean, we 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 we've, we've seen a number of smaller bottles. Well, that's the smaller. Those are three fifties. Are they three fifties? Yeah. Okay, okay, interesting. Which is seven hundred, right? Anyway, so I I'm in love with this bourbon. Uh, not even bourbon. Tennessee whiskey. Actually, it is a bourbon, but they don't want to call they it a bourbon it because bourbon. they're proud of the Tennessee whiskey. Uh, I think the nose is amazing. I think the palate's amazing. The finish is amazing. It's uh, I'd give it an eight. You think Shelly will like it? I think she well because she mean, likes Jack Cokes, right? She yeah, but I would not mix this with Coke. But no. but um, no, she she doesn't like it straight. So no, all right. Mm. Yeah, I agree. It's it's very uh, it's very very flavorful. It's very tasty. I love it. Excellent. I see this in Paul's uh, cupboard here real soon. Yeah, I'm going uh, uh, to get, gonna get the five gallon. Gonna get <laughs> the barrel. <laughs> oh, we're going to get the barrel. We're going to get the full barrel. No. All right. We covered a lot already in this uh, podcast so far. No. Well, first of all, we've been <laughs> off for what? Two weeks, we said? Two yeah. weeks. Yeah. And in that two weeks, uh, I mean, what did, what did you do? Well, a big the... reason why we didn't have podcasts is somebody went to, uh, we went to Disney. But what were you Pride doing? Land? What is it? Pride. Land? You went to Pride Land. No, you went to Pride Land. That's Pride oh. Month. Pride it's Month. Pride Month now. No. I know it is. According to Sean's uh, HR emails. You, you know what's crazy? <laughs> you know what's crazy about this whole Pride Month thing? Oh, it's good. like whatever. But I'm being inundated, like work and companies and Major League Baseball with the story about the the Tampa Bay Tampa Bay, right. Tampa Bay guys refusing to wear the patches. I mean, we're being inundated with Pride stuff. I'm like, if there was this much inundation. Uh, with about ho solving homeless, solving uh, hungry people, right? You know how many people go hungry in the United States every oh, I year? Yeah. I mean, every day, I every day. And if we had that kind of focus on let's solve, let's all give and, and help people that are hungry, that we do to this stupid pride thing, which is what, 5% of the country? Where does that money go when you donate to whatever these organizations do? What, what, what? What do they do with the money? Well, I don't know if people are donating to Pride. Are, are they donating to Pride organizations? I don't know. But you're saying, what, what if we donated, what if they donated the money to... Give it to charities that the sole focus is to get that food to, to communities no, I agree. where I agree. people are, like the food banks and stuff. I agree. Because that helps everyone. It helps not, everyone. Not a segment. Uh, hold on. What's the detachment here? You say, you're, you're saying you're, you're at work, you're getting these emails. And oh, yeah. 
So you're saying focus our efforts on something important? Yeah, something so, way more important than that. All right, well, as long as we think that, you know... Anyway, you see my point, though. Yeah, but look, surprisingly, you know I mean? uh, my work, which you know, I don't know what the deal is, but Black History Month, oh, my God, they pounded the living fuck out of that month. They had, like, one or two little uh, pride. In fact, I'll, I'll, I'm going to tell you guys, because it, it popped up on the thing, and I, I, I donate money. I donate money. I bought us all three something. Oh, no. Uh, oh, you did. I Strap did. Ons. I know ones. what they are. They're the, the, the little tumblers. How do you know that? Because you sent the email. <laughs> oh, yes. I did? Yes. Oh, my God. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> I even told you. I said, get three of them. I did. I got three of them. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. I, what, you know what? Look, they, they were like, nice cups. The little yetis. And, and time out. Do they have a monopoly on the rainbow? I love the rainbow. When I'm driving around and I, think I the see leprechaun has and, a the, and the, and the, and the, and the storm and a storm just passed and I see a wonderful rainbow, like which people. by the way is like uh, the reminder of God's covenant to His people that He'll never flood the earth again. Why can't we enjoy a rainbow without it being like you know pride stuff? I don't know. I don't know how they co-opted the rainbow. They did, but now it's the the trans. The, the, well, the flag now incorporates so much. Really? Have you seen it? The new LGBTQ oh, no plus divide. Show us the new flag. The LB new... whatever flag. Oh, it's 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 like they're they're combining all of it Look into, at this, into one. This that's rainbow. A, that's a wonderful rainbow, isn't it? Look at that. But listen, listen to my comment. Oh no, no, I don't want to hear your comment. Yeah, there there it is, right there with the triangle in it. And oh, oh, they added. Here we go. You're such an idiot. Did you put that on TikTok? Yeah. Well, you know what? Did it's, you? Yeah. It was the first time. No, that, that was on Snapchat. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I did. Anyway, so uh, blah, blah, blah. No, but the thing is, is that was like, I, I don't forget where I was. Uh, Amarillo. It, that was like one of the first times I was able to see both full, sides of the, the rainbow. Well, actually, it was a double rainbow. Oh, it was huge. I was kind of, wow. That did you was try really to find cool. the end of it? I didn't go over there. I the went inside and had gold. a steak. Just drive and drive and drive and drive. People are like, what is wrong with him? I said, shut up. Did you get the six-pound steak when you were out there? No, I wanted Yeah, what happened? Oh, you were yeah, talking all happened? sorts of shit. Uncle Buck, come on. Well, here's the deal. I went online. I looked up this restaurant. They said they had the tomahawk. I said, I'm sold. I went into the restaurant. I ordered the tomahawk. And they said, we don't have the tomahawk. Mm. And I said, the website says you do. Held up my phone with the fucking Ooh. steak of a tomahawk there. And they said, we're sorry, sir, but we don't have the tomahawk. Did you get up and walk out? Uh, no, I was hungry. So I was like, well, what's the biggest steak you got? Six ounce. We have a 16-ounce ribeye. Bone-in ribeye. That's nothing. And oh, was... bone-in. So it's more like a 14 oh, or 12 yeah. ounce. Hardly any meat at all. Not even it's all pound. bone. I was like, I'll have five of those. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any special on those? Can you shape that like a tomahawk? <laughs> is it buy two, get one free? If, if, if you cut them all up, and can you, can, yeah, can you shape it? <laughs> oh, God. Get the fuck out of here. No, it was tasty, though. Uh, I, I, I went out and had steak two nights in a row there. I had uh, these smoked prime rib. Nice. I love smoked prime rib. You can was never it, go was wrong. Was it rare? Uh, medium rare. Medium rare. Always. And I guess. smoked steak uh, the other night, two nights ago. Oh, you have steak? Do you have any beef in the freezer? Do you have elk in the freezer right now, don't you? <laughs> yeah, or, so so or, you know how we have all this meat, right? right. So so Dylan like comes for dinner, right? Gross. And then he he <laughs> really and then he's leaving and Shelly's like, like Oh, we have all this we like have a all bowl this. of it. He's like, Wow. <laughs> we, he's, hey, it's freshly whacked. Shelly's like, We have all this uh extra hamburger here. Take all this hamburger. It's a steak topper. And then she, she That's gives, the elk burger. Well, no, not the elk. It was the hamburger. She's giving away all your meat? Yes. She gives him like four four tubes of, of hamburger, and then she grabs like the first steak she finds, the porterhouse. No, you don't give the porterhouse. Hand it to him. Boop. Off he drives. And she's like, oh, yeah, I gave him hamburger. And I go, yeah, what the hell? And, and I gave him the porterhouse. No, give him the sirloins. And I was like, you did what? We, I haven't talked to her since. <laughs> that was 72 hours ago. Right. I can't, talk to, I can't talk to her now. Yeah, you're, you're I don't <laughs> even know who she is. <laughs> did you hear me? You lasted longer not drinking. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? He went 72 hours without <laughs> talking to her. <laughs> Only 48 not drinking. Yeah, whatever. It's hard not to be mad, but yeah, the, the, it's the, my son. I guess he, you know, it's okay. Yeah, the beef, uh, we're, I'm smoking a roast tomorrow. I'm going to make burnt ends. Oh, nice. So yeah. I'm smoking one of the 
Chuck Gross, the big Chuck Gross. Right, when's it going to be done? We'll be over. Uh, well, you never can really tell, but probably around dinner time. Okay, yeah, we'll be here. All right. You're not doing anything, are you? What's well, tomorrow? It's who cares? All right, it's uh, burn ends night. We'll, we'll come over, have burn ends, and finish. Tomorrow's the work night for me. Uh, you and your yeah, I wake up at one and work until eight. Now, nah, well, tomorrow's a solid work day for me. I I I, uh, I have to make up for it today. You know, once or twice a week, I have solid work days where I work. Like, Two days a week, you have work days. <laughs> oh my god! I'm not going to say anything on here about my work right now because, because <laughs> yeah, your coworkers are listening. Yeah, because I like a, like on Monday, I had I had accumulated enough billable hours t- t- for two or three days. So I'm not saying shit. I'm just, I, just, I just know that when I make an impromptu visit, like at one in the afternoon, and he's waking, he's, he's in his underwear, he's in his jammies, in a coffee, and he's rubbing his eyes and he's <laughs> stumbling around the house. I'm like, mm, that whole I gotta work late, guys. I can't. No, I can't. I would love to, but I gotta work. Oh my God, I gotta work. Oh, whatever. I do work late. Well, I know. You get up late. <laughs> oh yeah, I do. That, that's part of it. You know, because you work late. But well, you know it's, what? it's hey, because my, hey. my kids are up late. You know what? If you can't beat them, fucking join them. But here's the thing. You have the flexibility to have a flexible work schedule. I cannot complain. Exactly. I, you know what? It's and not who, we, who am I to judge? And if when you want to live when, your life that way, When my it. kids uh, slowly but surely start to, to become scarce around the house and I can have a, a, a bit of a, I don't, I don't want to say normal, but a, a life that's more conducive to sleeping at night. I hear you. I'm in. Yeah, no, I don't. You basically right now sleep during there. the day. Well, no, I, I, I'm, I'm still up at seven. Well, no, but you nap throughout the day. Yeah, I have a couple naps during the day. It's not a problem. Well, that's that. what I mean because you don't get a lot at night. I think. No, is what I the don't. Is, so you catch I up don't. during the day. I, I, I sleep. Uh, I, uh, I'll take two naps, and they're, they're relatively three fast. And a, three and a half hours each. <laughs> they're about, they're, one is about thirty minutes. Half hour work in between. And one's about an hour. <laughs> I'll wake up. Ugh. Check a couple emails. Go back to sleep. <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I find that the maps are are uh, they, they feel fantastic. They, they really energize me. They're supposed to be short. They pa- are power right. naps are supposed to be like fifteen to thirty minutes. Yeah. Right. Well, no, that's no longer. I'm oh, anti. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm anti nap. What do you mean? Like I, I, I know I know what you mean, but wh- who gives you the authority to say, "Oh, it's supposed to be an hour"? That's what I read. Power naps, man. That's yeah. good for your brain. Fauci. No, no. Oh, it's, there it's you fa- go. Well, it's Fauci. <laughs> he yeah, said, get, from get 15, triple triple boosted from vaccine and minutes minutes take a ten minute nap to an hour, not the thirty minutes you just you just said thirty minutes. It's fifteen minutes to an hour. I don't think it's an hour. That's a long time. If I if I nap for an hour, I wake up and I have no idea where I am, who I am. And then I'm shot the well, next that's three probably hours. because you probably had happy hour. Yeah, whatever. You and your, you have a problem, man. Uh, what? I, what the somebody's hell? taking offense. No. Uh, no. I lasted 72 it. hours. I did great. I, well, I think Sean's built up the hours on Monday so he could play his new Xbox. Did you, know you get a really new sucks? Xbox? I, I got the XS, whatever that is. Is that the new one? Newest, uh, newest one? It's the newest, newest one. Is and... that the Xbox One? Don't you get uh, whatever? It well, is why? The big why? Yeah, need, it's a big tall one. Why'd yeah. you need the new one? New, new, uh, my, new, new games. My ex. There's some newer games, but it's mostly uh, I see, the Xbox I currently have is like the original fucking Xbox One. Oh wow! So it's just it the processor on there. That Xbox One, yeah, the new the Xbox. Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, so the the one I have now, let's say for example, like Skyrim. Skyrim's been around forever, so. But they came out with a revised version of Skyrim where they've they've pimped up the uh, the graphics on it. It looks beautiful in on, on the new Xbox. But it's like the load time was I would fall asleep playing the game during the load time. With the new game? No, no, no. At the oh. with the with the older Xboxes. Okay, okay. okay. It's just like, geez, it takes forever. I mean, cuz I you, it, Xbox came out with Xbox 360. And then it came out, uh, and then it, you you upgraded to the Xbox One. Xbox one. one. But even Xbox One, it was really was slow loading. Right. But with the new one, zip zip boom. Does it have a disc? Uh, I don't know if it has a disc. Because it's got a slot that... where I think it does. Got with a yes from our producer. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because I, I, I know they're trying to gear away and start with the downloads. Is well, the I mean, right? does discs really are? I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I don't buy, I won't buy discs anymore. 
It's hmm. a waste of time and money. Because, hmm. you know. So it, what does this set you back, the new one? This one was four was 550 bucks. Okay. Well, so they're staying. How many, how many did you get? Um, what? Two. Good Lord. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Uh, you- I was going to get Austin one, but our producer, and he was kind of like, I don't need one. So I was like, No, he was like, uh, Father, you're wasting money. No, that's I don't need not one. what he was saying. I guarantee fucking tea, that's not what he was saying. But he said he was snotty about it. He was like, I don't need one. So like, I was like, I'm an right, adult. Well, I, didn't fucking I don't buy play video one. games all day, Dad. I have a job and I'm responsible. Wait, he's hiding behind that. I can't even see him right now. We're, no eye contact. And I think it's time that you do the same, Father. <laughs> Drop the games and work. Yeah, stop playing video games, and why don't you work for once, Dad? Oh, shut up. And why are you drinking at 9 a.m.? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know what? I, I, I would challenge a lot of folks to have the eye-to-hand coordination that I've got. Oh, my God. Really? That's your... You yeah. know what? I, I would stop, but it's given me so much amazing hand-eye yeah. coordination. I, I, have to, I have to have a tank of oxygen and a defibrillator to play some basketball, but hey... Right, I'll take you on a battlefield. So it's like it's like the last Starfighter, right? So they're monitoring you, and they're uh-huh. going to like enlist you to be a fighter pilot. Aliens in the galaxy, correct? You, you're going to be the one that saves us. God <laughs> I help could, us. So <laughs> God help us. <laughs> you better be nice to me. I'll be very selective. You're Sean, the one they pick. Sean's uh, in a little suit and it's all helmet, and, and they're like, "We really like your hand-eye coordination. We had to make the spaceship a little bit bigger." The <laughs> 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 smartest. And by the way, we just trashed the harnesses. They didn't have one big enough, so just but, just sitting there, just understand turn. you may fly out the window. We added another thruster. Well, we just we did add an extra lock on the front too, so you wouldn't fall out. No, oh, I, I, I'm man. interested in the new. I'm, I'm I'm trying to decide on the next one between the PlayStation or the Xbox. So here here's what I heard about the wait, the wait, difference. Wait, hold on, what time out? You don't game. I do some. Do you really? I do some. I, I like, didn't know that. I, Jeff's not bad. He's good at it. No, 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 no. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I, didn't, certain, know, I didn't know you did that. No, there's certain games that I like to play. I don't like the shooters because I'm not good at them, and I get pissed off. I know Sean's really good at them, and he likes playing that, but I don't like playing those. I like playing, when I had my PlayStation, I really like playing the God of War type of games. Like like strategy, simulation. Well, it's a fighting. Yeah, of... there's puzzles and shit in it, and uh, you're, you're, you're having to... It's not online where you're going against people that are just... Yeah, you're figuring out shit for you. You're own. not going against a 12-year-old who can kill you instantly. So here's what I've, <laughs> here's what I've heard, the, the variants on the, the, the PlayStation versus the, the new Xbox, is that uh, they're, essentially, uh, the, they're essentially the same. Uh, the Xbox is a little faster. It's a little smaller. It takes up less space. Um, that doesn't concern me. The space. I'm uh, more about the games because I want to get back into the the God of War because I really really enjoyed those. Those man, are the best game well, that I've played. God of War. God of War. Never heard of it. Outstanding. Well, look for the sake of argument. I mean, you really need to get Xbox simply because I have one and we can play games together. Well, we've had one before. There he is, Kratos. Um, you guys want to hear something completely stupid? I could buy one of these and my company would pay for it. We'll do it. Why? It's called a well wellness subsidy. And gaming systems fall under... And I think the premises, they have a lot of exercise uh, programs. Mental? No, 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 no. Like gaming. Like we, like we... Well, the Wii did. Well, uh, but I think the other gaming systems have oh, that like stuff a VR. too. Dance Dance USA maybe, or whatever that was. Maybe. I don't know. I can see Paul up there just... Oh no! Doing well, the I, running man and everything. I rock it anyway. I I have dance. I, I go to dance uh, competitions all the time. So it has nothing to do like real ones. <laughs> You're gonna be on America's Got Talent. Oh. They're like break dancing, doing the you, robot. You ever go to an arcade I, I and you see those guys it. jumping up and down on the little tic tac toe box, yeah. little, and they're like ding 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 Paul. ding ding. Oh, Paul's just like no. I, he's I'm got the, extra little steps in there. It I'm like the no. Feet. I'm Next, like the dudes in the spandex from the '70s that you keep sending. Yeah. That is disturbing. Oh, Can know, I the, make an official plea for you never, ever to send that again? It's these guys that are dancing in some, some, some. I don't know what it is. It's terrifying. Yes. But, and what's crazy is it can't stop watching it. It's like, what are they doing? What are they wearing? How do they move like How that? How do they move like that? God. It's really fascinating. Well, that last one. 
<laughs> was the so guy had a, uh, had him upside down, and his crotch was right in his face. I think that was from a movie. So they, I don't know what it is, but they break into different groups, <laughs> yeah. and then they and it's like they they're dance. It's got dance off. Why? Why are we doing it's this? It's like a dance off, and they yeah. do they go to this one, and it's it's crazy. Well, anyway. because it, it was it came out with. Uh, those skits, I'm gonna call them skits. Uh, it's because they were like the, the countdown of the top ten songs, and they would be like, "All right, we're down, now, 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 now from Berlin, you know, from the '80s, you know." And yeah. they had these people, and they're doing like this. Uh, what do they call it? The, the interpretive dancing that would reflect the the song, and the, like all the songs, they would have a, a little choreographical. It's so setup over, for it. It's so Hilarious. over the top. It's so over. the and top. And then they had a group of guys on there, and they're all dancing. You just like. Dude, it's it's and they've got so the, the fucking nineteen eighties porn it's amazingly stash. uncomfortable. And then, and then Paul's just I just know, it. it's like, so uncomfortable that you're like, they really made this. <laughs> They're really doing this right now. It's just a guy like the uh, three guys in the tights yes, that are just like yes. <laughs> so if I'm you just uh, like, why if, is it happening? If we're we're gonna jump back into the, the video games, uh, specifically for like the the, the Xbox. The, yeah. the the one I got, and I'll tell you the one thing that I really like. Well, the two things: uh, the speed, first of all, yeah, uh, is 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 per is excellent. Steep speed is excellent. Sure. Uh, the next thing is visually stimulating. Oh my gosh! So the graphics, the graphics are, way much are better. incredible so, on everything. So you have the same monitor, and it's, the graphics produced by this machine is way better. Or well, did you get well, a new monitor? It's not as a monitor; well. it's a TV. Is it a is it 4K so out? Are you taking 4K out? It's 4K. Yeah, yeah. but the previous 4K, one was, the previous one was 4K. No, uh, some games, of them are. I think some of them are. Were. Okay, you know, so it really, but it's just, it's just that the processing that the new Xbox can do, Crisp. is it can do up to eight thousand K, or eight thousand, or eight K. That's called eight K. Yeah. So, <laughs> which is the next round of TVs that apparently we have to all have to buy? Yeah, I mean, your eye can't even see that. It's like the, they got a like the the what is it yeah. called the the frame rate of a uh, that's exactly right the two hundred forty uh, r- r- refresh rate. At some point, the human brain, the human eye, cannot distinguish the difference, and we're gonna but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna buy a sixteen K TV. We don't care. Well, it look like you're looking and at a window. And we're gonna buy a thirty two K TV. No. Because we have to get the latest and greatest. No, there comes a point where it's it's diminishing return. Well, I know, but so your your company will actually buy it, huh? They'll pay for it. So why don't you do that? Oh, I mean, I it just renewed like all the stuff that I just I I spent my entire uh, last year's is you know year end just happened, and uh, I got golf lessons. I got golf lessons for myself. I uh, I bought a motorcycle helmet. Did they help? Motorcycle boots. Uh, Did your golf lessons? Motorcycle. They paid for the helmet and boots and jacket and gloves because it's all safety gear for my motorcycle. They they paid for it. I mean they they didn't reject it. And it, and it's expensive shit. The boots two hundred and seventy five dollars out of here. And I bought uh, uh new high tops for basketball. That's legit. Yeah, Paul came walking in the other day. He was all from head to toe. He was like like the Terminator walking in here. Yep, I was like, let me see your papers. Give me your clothes. <laughs> Jesus, he was nude. I'm looking for Sarah Connor, <laughs> but he was also sweating profusely as well because it was 100 was. degrees out. It was. Well, and did I, you ride your motorcycle? That was, motorcycle the, that over was here? the first time yeah. I wore the jacket. And he's like, "But it's so. vented." I was like, "It doesn't matter." Yeah. No, it didn't vent. <laughs> yeah, that, shit. that only works when you're driving <laughs> 200 first, miles per first hour. Off, first off, if the vents were closed, I I probably wouldn't. I would have died on the way over. <laughs> the vents kept me alive. Did you ride apparently. your bike over here? I did. I was did that, it, and uh, so by the loud? way, that was the first time I've ridden it outside of like the parking lot. Right, so. it was a nice bike. Wow. I really like it. It's that's it's, the kind of bike I would it's want because you know I've looked at the Harleys and they're you know the I don't like the big Harleys with the saddlebags. I like the style that you got. Yeah, so cool. No, I'm glad is. you like it. I'm it's, not getting one, but that's what I would get if I. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, if I was, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, I, no, I get it. I I, I, I like your bike. Don't trust me, me I've gotten an earful on both sides. Not 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 necessarily because it's loud enough to shatter a fucking concrete block, Crazy. but I, but I I kind of dig those long distance. Uh, I don't yeah. even know what they're called. Two, those, I think they call them a touring bike. Yeah, I, you're, I like. Right. You're talking touring about the ones the where gold the, wings. The, the couple will be there and they'll be talking into microphones together. Yeah, but I want one huge... for one, not for two. Oh, well, yeah. Paul couldn't ride bitch. 
Oh, yeah. well, I'm not talking about like a side seat one, but actually, now that you mention it, uh, I'm not a uh, I'm not against it. But what I'm getting at is, I would like the big <laughs> Why does it have tour bike. Me ride, bitch. <laughs> Why can't you ride, bitch? <laughs> no, I get to side. Why am I always the bitch? <laughs> do I don't you, just don't understand it. Dude, he because wants to he just, sit on the handlebars. Yeah, I'm oh, on the handlebars up front. Jeff wants oh, to sit on you're the doing the Top Gun thing. Yes. Oh, he's gonna be. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Shut up, Jeff. I'm, I'm not sure I understand the do 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 thing. They're planking. Oh God, I got a mental. I want a bike with a bunch of freaking mental image. The storage container. Work, you know, because you know how I am with a bunch of stuff. Oh, your accoutrements? Would, oh, dude, I would have everything. I'd have that thing weighed no, down. I, I, no, no, I, it'd I, probably I, cost ten bucks to travel a mile. That's how heavy. No, I, I, I get that the, the handiness, <laughs> but I just don't like the look of it. Yeah, I, I don't like the look of it, but I understand that they would be really nice to have. Yeah, well, especially if I, I mean, for me. And you know, if I want to travel, because we need uh, shit, or go camping. You need, a, you need a recliner, a tray, TV. Uh, well, he oh, needs all his, his accoutrements his when he shits, yeah. Oh, wow, that's a bike. I, I Well, I mean, those yeah. touring bikes are not cheap, dude. No, they're not. Yeah, the well. ones that have, like, the full speakers and, like, you Well, know. the big gold wings, the big Honda gold wings, those are the big oh, yeah. touring ones. Right. And they make no sound. Like, you see, and, that, and that's what's interesting, because the guy that sold it to me, I was like, I didn't know if it was loud or not. I it did not want a loud bike. And, and I well, was you like, have one. And I, I go, what is you Cat really Delete? one. Is he, he on his advertisement, he's like, these are cat deletes. And I was like, what are cat deletes? And he's like, you know, I removed the, the catalytic converter so it's, and I replaced it with blah, 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 so that it's louder. And I'm like, oh, shit. I don't want it to be a really loud bike. And he goes, no, you want that. And I go, well, why? And he goes, he was traveling to Addison. like You know what? And, you, you've and told the would, story. And I'm, people would not hear him, and they would right. swerve into his lane. And he was like, fuck that. I'm, I'm not. I'm call bullshit. I'm not, no, it's a true, it's a real thing. No, no. The, you're, he's telling you this and claiming it to be true. No, I, I'm going to call bullshit. No, it's real. No, I believe it because when I'm driving. You want people to hear you. I hear the Harleys coming. Yep. Yeah. Well, you know what? I hear him too, and it's annoying as fuck. But you know what? I can also see a quiet motorcycle. Not if it's in your blind spot. No. I don't have blind spots. Really? No. no. Really? Oh, yeah. How do you pull that off? Are you well, you got to pull the mirror out? Uh huh. Uh-huh. And you have to actually check. Oh. Yeah. So no blind. You spots. know you can look in the mirror and look over your shoulder and see nothing because they're in your blind spot. Well, you know, <laughs> as a motorcyclist, you shouldn't be hanging out in the well, blind spot. Well, it could be brief. People change lanes irresponsibly all the time with no signals, and boom. Right. Well, but I just if they disagree. Hear, <laughs> They're gonna go. Oh shit! What is no, that? I don't think it's worth it. Uh, yeah, I, if I was to get a bike, I'd get a loud one. As much as I don't want that, because I think it would just be a serious beat down on a long trip. I couldn't imagine going well, on a long off, trip with that. Yes, just first off, this is not a long trip bike. This is a two hour, uh, a, a two hour Sunday morning ride bike. So if we all get bikes, you don't want to go to Sturgis? <laughs> no. In North Dakota? No. I what don't. Uh, you yeah, could, I'll tell really. you what. I'll, I'll get a side seat. <laughs> get two, get two you know, side seats. You know, Shelly and I were talking about that. We were like, get a side seat. And Shelly goes, and Sean will sit in it. And I was like, and we'll get him goggles. Uh, that's wear. 100% no, you. And a, and a leather cap. Oh, that's exactly what we said. A leather cap with brown goggles, that would be Sean. 100%. <laughs> going, I'll, I'll going. Get a... Sucking on a on a bourbon and coke, going. I gotta pee, <laughs> Paul. I gotta pee. No, he just go like this over the shoulder. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta pee. I would just pee on you. Yeah, you would, <laughs> Dick. I don't know if I'd like to be sitting in that sidecar. Like if you're going down like seventy five. No, and, and I wouldn't want to sit in that sidecar. How, be many, how so... many times have you ever even seen a motorcycle with a sidecar anymore? I saw it two times today. You're such a liar. <laughs> Seriously, you don't ever see that anymore. Yeah, Side but I, I still would like it. I think it'd be kind of cool. I think you, it's cool. You know what I'd like? I'd like one of those, uh, the, the, there's, I'd like the, the three wheelers. The spiders? And, what are they called? Spiders? Well, there's, there's, there's two wheels in the front or one wheel in the back or vice versa. That's the same and, thing. Two uh, wheels in the front, one wheel in the back. Uh, well, I mean, two wheels in the front or one wheel in the front. So they've got, right. they've got two different ones and, and I'm, I'm on the fence on which one I would want. You know? I think the two wheels in front is more stable, more I, controllable. I, well, the other, but the one that has one in the front and two in the back is it, it's a real it's a real motorcycle. Well, it's a motorcycle they've modded to two. Correct. Wheels I back. would rather have that than than the because the spider is a big long one, like it's bigger and weirder, and I don't. It's not uncool to me, but 
Well, you, weird. Or you know what I'm cool talking about? Doesn't matter. I it's just, like there's no comparison between that vehicle and a motorcycle. Well, well, I think the I think the ones we're thinking of. You're you're driving that like a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's kind of what motorcycle. I'm envisioning. You know, yeah, in, in, I mean, in, you know, what? that's no comparison. You drive that to Sturgis, they'd laugh at you. I wouldn't care. You totally would. Yeah. All those bikers up there, <laughs> the Hell's really, Angels. And when then have you'd I have ever your, given a shit? And then shit. you'd have your rainbow flag and your oh, rainbow man, uh, I would, com- I, I uh, would tumbler. I wouldn't give a shit. Yes, rainbow tumbler. I wouldn't rainbow give a shit. tumbler and a flag. Well, you'd be we, like, we, we'd hey, also, guys. Well, we'd oh, all three have I'd love I, it here. I would push a button, and I'd have like this <laughs> this full-blown sound system pop out with a video screen. I'd be playing video games and drinking my little bourbon. And they'd think you were stupid. You know what? I'd be happy. That's not authentic. And you'd be Kyle Rittenhouse immediately. Correct. What does they'd that cha- mean? They chase you out of town. <laughs> <laughs> that means that I'm going to shoot them. I'm going to vaporize their biceps. They'd light the dumpster on fire. Just kidding. I, I shouldn't use that as a joke. He's. I think he's. A, he's a young patriot. I do. I think that. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. I mean, in fact, he on. even said in retrospect, you oh, know, shit. I probably what a, could what have. A, what a subject change, right? No, but, but he even comment. said in retrospect, I probably uh, would not go. He would never do that again. No, no way. But well, because it, it, it fucked his life up. Thought. It was a noble thought. But yeah, man, in this world, that morning he was at the high school with clean, a bucket of water, cleaning graffiti, and cleaning graffiti. Come on, I know. Guy's a stud. He's a stud. He's a kid. You He's know, a kid it's that just it, like, it has the right, right. And the fact that Bill Burke called him an idiot, I'm just like, man, dude, that's just senseless. You know, and, right. and heartless. I, I hear you. You know, it, and it bothered me from that perspective. I was kind of like, come on. I what? wonder if he recorded that. During the trial or before the trial? Because you said that it was a year or so old. It, yeah, it had. Uh, it to may have been it. before the trial. Yeah. And I, you know what's sad? I, I, even though uh, they went through the trial and it was the, the biggest no-brainer, they had video of everything. It was like the most ridiculous and thankfully, obvious. And it makes you wonder how who where are these drones coming from? Oh, the the Antifa guys. Where are the drones? Coming from the drones, oh, the drones in the sky where they the got video. the video. No, I mean people. P- people submit a video. Like they sub- people were running around videoing, and it was crazy. As all those liberals were probably thinking, this video is gonna get that guy convicted. Correct. And that's actually what got him acquitted. Anyway, so despite the fact that it was overwhelming evidence of that it was self defense, right? These guys were attacking him and all well, that kind of it stuff. Didn't help. I still wasn't sure which way we go. Well, because you never know what this just well, just like the whole uh, Sussman case. I know. With uh, he got off. He got off the first Durham case. He lied to the FBI. It was beyond obvious. But who was on the on the jury? DC people. A bunch of Clinton supporters. Yep. Yep. Can how did they get? A, how did they get on the jury? How did I, they get past? Typically, I don't know. I don't Levesque. understand that. And I read that article too. And and yeah, it doesn't make sense because usually. Both lawyers, right? They go through an exhaustive process to eliminate lawyers and make—I mean, uh, juries, jury members. I, I, I don't it just, it makes you wonder, you know, when they they reveal it makes you all not, the. It makes you not trust anything that's going on. Well, man, that's why because the system because it's the opinion when you hear, oh, well, the Durham report's coming out. Nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen to him. And nothing. Then, and then nothing happens. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Absolutely nothing. It drives me crazy. I hear you. It's embarrassing. It makes. Well, it you, is. You know, as and a, it's as not a, a good thing that we're going to lose faith in our institutions. Law and order, justice department, or justice. Yeah. I, well, I, I, I think it's all a chess game. It's just absolutely all a chess game. Well, i tell you what, a bit of good news. It doesn't affect us, uh, but the DA in San Francisco just got recalled. That is huge. Noon, what is his name? Ken, Ken, Ken. No, it's got a, it's, he's a weird name. I yeah, can't. it is a weird name. It's like uh, Ch- Chessa. Chessa Boudet yeah. or something. I, I don't know. Yeah, he just got recalled, so he's out of there. And liberals can't believe it. They're like, he was finally a person that was going to do the right thing. Well, he lost by 62%, 62 to 38. He got crushed. His recall in How did San he Francisco. Get uh, they, they, they got the signatures, right? They got he, enough signatures. They got oh. enough signatures. So it's the San Francisco DA, and he's he's fucked up that city so much as far as criminals. Oh, yeah. Right? So that's what he controls. That he screwed it up so much that even they had enough of it. Did you hear what he said when he was like when it was over? Well, the, and he the was fight's speaking, not over. Speaking to his people, his supporters, the, he said, "Well, he said that, but he also said, um, e- you know, even if we lost today, even if we lost today, uh, we we you know put it on the map that that putting incarcerating people does not 
does not solve the problem. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm. But I think you also proved that not incarcerating is even a bigger problem. Is a bigger problem. Well, it was sixty to forty percent. Dumbass. You know, seventy almost seventy seventy four thousand three hundred thirty five to forty nine fifty five ninety one. That but was that's a, San Francisco. Pardon? That's big. That was that's yeah, San Francisco. Big. That's big. big for there. So what low numbers though? Isn't that insane? I know. For how big is San Francisco? There's got to be a million, million people. One hundred twenty-three thousand. You know, that's it. I mean, that's but that voted. Right. Well, that's standard. Out of though. out of how many millions that live in that area? I mean, that's crazy. Well, I mean, Did well, you, do you know his background? Did no, you read his it? background? So Both his parents were in the Weather Underground. His dad was in prison oh. for murder. His mom was in prison for, uh, uh, for the same like, thing. You're kidding. And me. he was raised by Bill Ayers, who was the founder of the Weather Underground. Oh, my God. So that's his background. And he was uh, backed by Soros. Correct. So he's basically a... a he's a total infiltrate hack. Correct. And the Weather Underground is responsible for a bunch of bombings back in the 70s, right? Yeah. Oh, my God. What the fuck? This is unbelievable. And his parents were in prison for it. Great. Raised by heirs. Raised by him. What do you think his house, his indoctrination is? And remember, who is good friends with, guess who? Barack Obama. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He sure is. You're right. Unbelievable. So we basically are being infiltrated is, is, is the way I feel about it. Well, he got booted, so well, he got booted. He got, he got found out, dude. And if that, if this happening there, this red wave that they're talking about—that's what they're kind of talking about. Is, they're like, is, this is, is going to be going to be just crushing. Yeah, well, they keep saying that, but man, I hope it it's, doesn't. It's difficult flounder. to to believe it. Just because, like, I know how much they have the they have uh, about three or four weeks ago uh, a vote for a mayoral vote in in Georgia I think Atlanta Georgia yeah and Sarah peaks something she had um, she had lost she was in third place and she was like wait a minute um, I voted in this county and it says zero so um, that's the red uh, flag Dominion the, the Dominion yeah Dominion. there you but go you, you Dominion voting machines that. so they uh they went back and 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 uh, hand counted it, and she won first place. Oh no! Unbelievable! It is. Was she the Democrat or the Republican? Um, I don't. Was recall. it the de- Democrat? It was a primary. It wasn't the main. I, election, I still right? think she was a Democrat, but it, you know, it's just still. It's a. It was a Dominion voting machine. If, if you have no faith in the elector in the election, like integrity of the election itself. I mean, I don't want to go back to twenty twenty election, but here we go again. Not just 2020, but 2016. All of them. Yeah, what's going to change? Right. What's going to change in the fall? What's going to change in the next presidential well, election? Well, I think... Nothing. I think what I think the outcome of 2020 is there's going to be a lot more eyeballs on it. Right? At least I hope. What, like the 2,000 mules? Oh, I haven't watched it. Have you guys watched it yet? Oh, I thought you already watched, I watched it. I watched the beginning of it. I definitely want to watch it. I So, can I just need to buy it. Do I just, Come that, over to my house and watch it. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. Can we set a night for that? Sure. Okay. Let's do that. All right. Um, well, was it Sarah Smith? I, I thought it was... Uh, Sarah Silverman? Yeah. Oh, Sarah yeah. Silverman is such a... Yeah, she got voted. She's got she, nice... She's the governor of Atlanta now. <laughs> <laughs> the mayor. I'm sorry. The mayor. The mayor. The mayor of... Uh, well, I'll tell you what's going to be an interesting one is the uh, governor for Georgia. Yeah. Stacey Abrams and the guy... She's such a hat. Who beat her last time. I can't believe that she's still in politics. I know it. She still has the the, the one that was uh, by endorsed by Oprah Winfrey. Uh, Probably, I I don't don't know. know. But she's the one who still has not conceded that election. She still thinks she won. She is a blatant ballot harvester. Yeah, she is blatant. Correct. Blatant. Right. Like two thousand mules basically is her. Hold on. So she she lost and she still says she won. Oh yeah. She said it was stolen from her. Yeah. She still has not conceded or admitted defeat. Yeah, but you know what? Here, here I am. I just said that she stuffs ballots; that she's a ballot harvester. But she lost. And then the people that support her think the exact same thing that when she lost. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like 
it's a, how we like here we are being so sure about, you know, the, the election was stolen or this and that happened. And they are the same way. Right. So how do we. But they're, they're how the do we cheating. how do we end this? How do we how do we move on? You, we can't because we can't. We, there's we don't have a you have to have a foundation that you trust. Well, I tell, yeah. you, I tell you what, back in the day, when what I we weren't voting yet when our parents were voting. Right. I remember my dad. He'd walk to elementary school with me because that's where his voting was. He'd go up there and boom, boom, boom. I'd, I'd he'd walk me to school that day and uh, he'd vote. Right. And he voted for one day. There was no early voting there was no we're gonna let, stretch it out for two weeks or whatever we the bullshit we've got today right if there's election day on that tuesday you either vote or you don't vote right that's your day to vote right. suck it <laughs> right okay either you get off your ass and do it yeah or you don't have a voice right i think we need to get back to that i think there needs to be a tighter control Oh, get, and then get, they claim, oh, that's suppressing the vote. No, it's suppressing not. Suppressing the vote. No, I know. No, it's I not. agree with you. Why is it suppressing the vote? I know. No. Election day is Tuesday, the first Tuesday of November, right? Or whatever that is. So what is your Why, issue with you early know it's voting? Coming. What's your issue with I don't early have voting? Any, I don't have any, but I don't think they... They may have, but I was in fucking fifth grade. There may have been early voting back then, but my dad never did it. So there okay, may so have been. You don't, you, so inherently you don't have an issue no, I don't have with the an, fact that they have early voting. I have a problem voting. with... The amount of time that you, they accept votes. Well, the whole mail-in votes, right? That's, That's a whole different don't, problem. Don't. Right. No, I agree. Put a deadline. Yeah. They kept extending it and counting I them. know they did. Say, I if, you're, if did. your mail-in vote is not here on election day, it doesn't count. So ridiculous. So get it in the mail prior to that. Oh, but they have drop boxes. They have drop boxes all over the place. No, get rid of them. I know. Well, get rid of what, them. That's exactly what 2,000 Mules, the movie, is about. They tracked people who took bunches of ballots and went over and over and over again to unattended, unsecured ballot, and, and, ballot drop and, boxes. And in addition to that, there were, there were uh, characteristics that were all the same, uh, meaning that they showed up with the same types of ballots. They, and they only voted for... Right. They, they had a specific one side. type that they, they right. filled out. No down ballot. And they all showed no up down with these ballot voting. rubber gloves. So they had, in fact, um, in fact, the the day before they started the voting, they had they had made a, a, a an announcement saying, well, all well, they're gonna be fingerprinting all the uh, the the papers that are coming in. And and then they the very next day they started wearing the gloves. I forget exactly what it was. I kind of said it, but I didn't know. Did you watch Two Thousand Mules? Uh, no, not yet. Okay, no, we gotta watch it. But I, I I guarantee we're gonna get so angry because oh, yeah. we already know. Like it was, it was blatantly obvious the night before and then the morning after. Well, they stopped. Yeah. Anyway, I don't want to get yeah. Me, me, me neither. But we're gonna watch that. I think we're gonna be angry. But but I I truly think they need to put some get back to what because we didn't have these problems. I mean, there was always like the Chicago with Kennedy, right? There was always well, the bunch of dead people voted and voted Kennedy in. Right? Yes. You've always had that, but you don't have the bullshit that's going on now. Right. I don't think. And it's I think full blown you, fraud. Yeah. I think if you get again, there's always been fraud of some level. Right. But. Um, not to the extent that I think what we're seeing today. And I think if we get back to the election day is on this Tuesday, your mail-in vote, need, your absentee ballot needs to be in. Yeah. Uh, maybe it needs to be postmarked. So maybe you have a three-day grace period or something like that for the absentee to get to where it's going. Yeah. Um, but outside of that, we're not counting votes past two days after or whatever it is. Yeah. I'd be, okay be done with, with that. it and be done with it and say, you, you, I'm sorry. Everyone knew this was election day. Uh, just because you're of this race doesn't mean you need an extra week. Yeah. So have you guys ever, uh, so you always early vote, right? I try to, cause I don't want to deal with the crowds. I know. So there was one year, I don't remember what election it was. And I'm almost ashamed to say this, but I waited till election day and I was running late from work and I stopped. It was, 19, by, it was 1980 Reagan Carter, right? Y yes, it was. Actually, it was. Uh, it was. <laughs> it's <laughs> Geraldine Ferraro <laughs> really? and um, Mondale. The Mondale. Anyway, so I stopped by the high school. I stopped by the high school, and I was like, "Oh my God!" The line was so long. And so then I went to another place, and it was like, "Oh my God!" I just went home. Didn't vote. 
shitty. That is shitty. That's shitty. Oh my god, I almost hit him. Did you yeah. see that? Yeah. I flinched. Yeah. And that's <laughs> when and that's when Beto won the president of Texas. <laughs> oh, oh it was that one against uh, Cruz? <laughs> no, no. No, it wasn't. What do you think his chances are against Cruz? After after, after what he just did? Yeah. I think he shot himself he in the foot. He destroyed himself. Well, that got major coverage. I think he even got got yeah. bad news from the Dems on yeah. that. Yeah, they were like, yeah. You he made a total ass of himself. Time. Yeah, he did. Uh, on a positive note, before we, we end this first session, um, there is, uh, there is turn that frown upside down, positive news on ass cancer. That's anal cancer? Um, some sort of butt cancer. You like mean prostate monkey pox? cancer? You're talking about monkey pox. Um, well, they're they're saying that there is a they they gave a speci- there's a specific type of butt cancer that you get that they gave uh, a certain amount of people this drug and all of them their cancer went into remission. Was it or was it mRNAs? I don't know. <laughs> it was not, <laughs> but it was. Uh, uh, let me see here. Was it is Iver- it called ivermectin? No, it's called fosatin. Farrah Fawcettin. Oh, Fawcettin. Right. Okay, she so she probably the, would be alive if this Dosta, drug was out. Do star. Right? Wasn't she the one Do that star died? Yeah, she had anal cancer. Yeah. Of anal cancer. Yeah, anal cancer. God, that is such, that's just so ridiculous. Yeah. It's like so how, how, how do you get it there? I mean, seriously, how do you? Uh, I understand prostate cancer, that's but the worst. Cancer. That's the worst story. So the Do anyway. star Lamob sold under right, the brand name to Do Jimmer Do star Malab. Why don't Mid- they come up with Mid- normal Mom. names like well, Bruce whatever. or so? Basically, what what <laughs> something like that? What they're know. what they're? I'm surprised they haven't suppressed this. You know, with the the way they are with medicines, colon cancer, not anal cancer. Well, whatever. There's a big difference. Is there? Yes. Yeah, there is. The colon is your intestine. Yeah. Well, it's... anal is your butthole. You remember yeah, but when the, we the, had that the podcast? The anus is the the mouthpiece of your. Colon. Yeah, it's a different. Do you remember piece. when we had that podcast and we talked about all the parts of the cow? <laughs> <laughs> I think we should do that for the human body. No, I, 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 don't I think, think Sean we needs do that, that for the human body. It's like the duodenum is what it is. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe we shouldn't do it. Then. Yeah. yeah, the col- yeah. colon cancer is Perniculum. different than ass cancer. Well, my well, my point is, I, I was making. I was well, making colon cancer is a big thing, though. There's a lot of people. But who the fact get that, that the, well, that's the, why the, we the do fact that we found anything yeah. that that uh, covers cancer. You know, that, that kills it. That You have a su- success rate so high as that. It's great. It's fantastic. Yes, very fantastic. Speaking of, Sean's going to get a colonoscopy this year. I thought you... Uh, you and I have already done it. We've done it. Well, yeah, when are you... What yeah, you, you should have scheduled it after your, Time your out. It's not on the calendar? It's not on the calendar until my uh, uh, my insurance kicks in uh, uh, officially. January 1st. That? January 1st. Whenever it kicks in. You don't know when? You do know when. You son of a bitch. <laughs> well, no, he, he signs up in November, yeah, October. Yeah, when's your opening enrollment? It's not like there's a long wait. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. Jeff said it's like November. I'm sorry, uh, j- January. Yeah, so you sign up for October, November. You don't even know January when your 1st. opening enrollment is. No, it, I got to sign up October, November. But it doesn't start until January per Jeff. Shit. Correct. January That's seven 1st. months away. Yeah. I could be dead by then. You could have a polyp. That's not funny. You well, could be. We all could, could be. be. Yeah. We could have been. The colonoscopy we is, is be hit more. by a meteor I'll tell you what. The colonoscopy is more mental than anything. I, I'm not worried about any of that. You know what I oh, want? Oh, you mean the procedure itself? Just the procedure. Just, oh, just thinking, no. God, on. they're going to shove a camera at my. No. Nah. I don't care. You okay. know what I want? I want that sleep apnea thing done. It's simply because I'm tired of being tired. The sleep apnea thing. Is a real deal. Yeah, and you, you gotta may, get that you, CPAP machine. I, I think your your life will vastly improve. It will. Oh, I can't wait. My God, when I popped my hearing aids in, where were we? We were in Gainesville. We where, where no, were we? No, that was up at we're in Choctaw. Station. No, that was at Choctaw. Choctaw. After the uh, I was sticks concert. Yeah, I was sleeping peacefully, and I was like, for some reason, oh, you were trying to talk to me or something. I don't remember what happened. I put my hearing aids in, and I was like, oh my God, what is that noise? And it was Sean. That's what it sounds like. It was that bad. It really was that bad. 
It does. And I looked at you, and, and you were like, Ugh. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Even all the night. producers like, yeah, Dad, that's you. It was so bad. It's all night. You absolutely. Because I know when we share hotel rooms, I sleep with the pillow over my head. Well, and that's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and dudes like yes. us. <laughs> I'm Sean. I'm Paul. And I'm Joe. Let's we'll see you in a few minutes. We're going to be drawing another bottle of bourbon. What is it? Peen Lope. Yeah, the uh, Rose Rose Catalina. Uh, what is Rose it? Rose Cask. Uh, hopefully we got some food. It's going to be good. All right, we'll see you.